Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel, Shalom. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone, that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, Shalom, right? It's your brother, Shapah, right? Show, show. <laughs> so, I wanted to come back in, do do this little brief little lesson. Lord wills it be edifying, or at least you know, maybe it sparks something in you to do a, do do go deeper into this, man. Cause I ain't want to go to, you know, it's plenty of slave owners and all of that Jewish slave owners. But let's look at this one guy here. I seen the name and it, it, just his name alone kind of irked me. Judah Benjamin, the Jewish politician and slave owner who was the brains of the Confederacy. Judah Benjamin was the largest Jewish slave owner in the South, a key member of the Confederate president Jefferson Davis, Davis government. This is a person who had a very impressive, had, who had some very impressive qualities, but did sickening, horrible things, says his bi biographer, James Traub. See? These motherfuckers. The, 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 like, uh, and, and like they, what they always go to Deuteronomy chapters, let, let's get that, let's, let's get that. They go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and you'll have a clown, 28 and 68, you'll have a clown like vocab. Let's read it. So so we could we could say break it down how vocab gonna break it down. 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we know that. If you over there in, in over there in um that part of the world, you don't need no ships. If you in Africa, where we if, if we in Africa or wherever we at, we don't need no ships to go back to Egypt. So that's the first thing. That's the first clue. By the way way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold into your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you right no man shall redeem you that's the correct way of saying it and egypt is synonymous with um bondage because you go to revelation revelation um 11 and 8 and i think exodus 12 and 4 makes makes but we'll get those later but let's let's focus on this Deuteronomy chapter 28 first, 68. And no man shall buy you. So vocab will say that, oh, you would try to sell yourself. There you would try to sell yourself and nobody would buy you. So we will all our nation will offer up ourselves as slaves and nobody would buy us. This don't look here like this is this don't look like this 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 fake he, Hebrew. This 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 fake um Jewish 1948 it don't look like he said no to buying us. Let's look at something else. And I brought this list not this. this oh, this is another one too. This is another one too. In 1924, Fairfield, Illinois businessman, Emmanuel Steiner, another small hat, was presented with 50 roses. By hooded Klansmen in broad daylight at the city park. Now these would be the people that are cry anti-Semitism. Anti oh, you're racist, you're this, you're this and this and that. And they, look at these motherfuckers. They were honoring the Jewish store owner for his golden business anniversary. Jews were members and supporters of the KKK from the very beginning. Yeah. 
They were supporters of Black Lives Matter. They were supporters of the KKK. They were supporters of the Civil Rights Movement. They were supporters of Black Lives Matter. They were supporters of the Black Panther Party. Eh, they, they, they money in everything. They, they money all over the place. So, so yeah, here, here, this the one I was going to get to. This list right here. This list right here. Name of slave ship owners. Abigail, Aaron, Lopez, Moses, Levi, Jacob, Franks, Jews. Crown, the, 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 the Crown, Isaac Levy and Nathan Sampson. Nass Nassau, Moses Levy, four si sitters, sisters, four sutters, Moses Levy, Arendt and Elsie, Justice Bosch, and James Abraham. These are all Jewish people. They're all Jews. Small hats. Fake Jews. Let's let's see. Let's get that Exodus 12 and I think it's 12 and 4. Was it 13 and 4? Yeah, it's 13 and 4. Salaki. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 13 and 4. And Moses said unto his people, Remember this day in which he came out, up, out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord brought you out from this place where shall no leavening bread no leavening bread is eaten bread be eaten see so right there remember the day in which you came out from Egypt out of the house of bondage right so now you link that one up with let's go revelation the 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 the, the, the um prophecies do not fit them 11 and 8 <coughs> Revelation, excuse me, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was um, crucified. See, so there you go right there. It said we coming back to Egypt. Egypt is synonymous with bondage. And then it's telling you in the last days, in the last book, the book of Revelation 11 and 8 that we would be in Egypt again, spiritually Egypt. So the prophecies don't fit them. But look look at this, this one right here. I pulled up another. Yeah, let's 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 look at it. Let's look at it. How Judah Benjamin, a Jewish Confederate slave owner who decried slavery, came to embody so many contradictions. See? These these dudes is freaking liars, man. These dudes is liars, man. Let's get it. 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 Where's that? Jeremiah 49 and 10. Let's get that one. It's the book of Jeremiah 49 and 10. Let's start at Let's start at seven. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, because they're Edomites. They're not, they're not um Israelites. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is is wisdom no more in Dedan? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring a calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. If great gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? No, these motherfuckers won't. They taking them all. If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. This is the point. Ten. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. See? But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, 
and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not see we finding out Esau um places man his head and shit man let's get this one while we doing that let's get over here to this one too 2nd Thessalonians 2 and 3. 2nd Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the, sin, the, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above that is called the Most High, or that is worship. So that they, so that he is the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, saw himself to be the Most High, that he is the Most High, Salaki. So this, this guy, man, Esau, Edom done changed the faces of everybody, man. The Most High, his son, I say the Most High, his son, his apostles, his prophets, and his people. And his people. And his people, they changed the faces of everybody. And walking around claiming that they are the Lord's people right now, currently. Let's get it. Let's let's see what this say. So in 1842, Judah P. Benjamin stood inside a New Orleans courtroom and declared that slavery is against the law of nature. The fucking slave owner. You see? Born speaking lies, man. It was part of his winning argument at, as to why an insurance company didn't have to pay. See, see, money is their fucking ruler, man. Money is their ruler, man. Money is their God, man. It was part of a winning argument as to why an insurance company didn't have to pay the slave ships, the slave ship Creole owner after its cargo of enslaved people revolted and escaped. Meanwhile, less than 10 miles away from the courtroom, more than 140 slaves were laboring in the fields of Bell Chassis, Benjamin's sprawling sugarcane plantation. Such were the contradictions in the life of Benjamin, who was one of the most prominent and also one of the most reviled American Jews in the 19th century who is now the subject of Jane Twa's ben Judah Benjamin Counselor to the Confederacy. Recently published as part of Yale's Jewish Live series, the book explores the forces that shape the Jewish immigrant. See? Yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. Even before the truth, man, I could not stand them. I could not stand them, man. I could not stand these motherfuckers, man. I could not stand them, man. Trump, Trump also teaches foreign policy and New York rules. Says he hasn't, he wasn't sure he wanted to write the book at first. I know. I bet you didn't want to write the book at first. I hesitated to write it because I wondered if someone should write a biography about someone like him. See, that goes back to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 and Jeremiah 49 and 10. Esau is being made bare, man. However, he was an extraordinary person who nobody knows anything about. See, here, yeah. no one is celebrating Judah. Benjamin, he was a gifted person attached to an evil cause. See, so he was a nice person. It's just that slavery was bad. He, you know, Judah, Judah Benjamin himself, he was a wonderful person. But by examining his life, we see the drama of assimilation play out as well as what slavery meant inside life of one. So, so what he trying to basically say right there is that Judah wasn't bad. Judah just came here and assimilated in with the rest of the Edomites, and he just got caught up in slavery, and you know, he just got carried away. Benjamin was born in 1811 in St. Croix, then a British 
possession. His parents, boom, 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 moved to London. Benjamin's parents. Man, this is bullshit. See? This is bullshit, man. This is bullshit, man. This is this is the, the small hats. The people that claim that they are the people of the scriptures. Lock in. Scam likely as usual. The boy Dama just texts me. I get back to him. Get get back to him in one second. Let's keep getting. Let's get a couple more. Let's get a couple more. Yeah, man. I say, I say, man. Gotta bring this out. This nigga, man. He's a nigga, man. Isaiah 17 and 14. 17 and 13. The nation shall rush like the rushing of many waters, but the Most High shall rebuke them, and they shall flee far off and shall be chased as the chafe of the mountains before the wind, and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And behold, at evening tide trouble, and before the morning it he is not. This is the portion of them that, rob, that spoil us, and the lot of them that rob us. Yeah, this is the portion. Y'all, you gonna... You're gonna get it, man. You're gonna get it. That that brings this one up. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Where's that? Exodus 2116, I think. Alright. Exodus 2116. And he that stealeth for man, and he that stealeth for man, and sell of him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. So he did all that. He stole it from man, and he's an Edomite, and the people that he stole are still in the hands of the Edomite. Try to leave the country without a passport. You can't. So we are still in these people's hands right here. Let's get let's get this one. Let's get this one. I ain't bring this one out in a minute neither. Let's get this one to Revelation 13 and 10. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So we wait impatiently because you people are going to pay, man. You people are going to pay, man. You people are going to pay. You people, you could try to disguise it. The Lord know who you are. Even if the whole world is fooled and never, ever come to the understanding of who y'all really is. The Lord knows. Psalms 37 and 27 and 27, 37 and 27. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment. <laughs> Psalms 37 and 28 For the Lord loveth judgment And forsake of not his saints They are preserved forever But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off Yeah man Yeah man The seed of the wicked shall be cut off man Judah Benjamin And his seed is gonna get it Esau Edom and his seed is going to get it, man. Y'all gotta pay. Y'all gotta pay for this slavery situation, man. Y'all could try to duck and dodge and squirm and all of that all you want to, but y'all gonna have to pay, man. 
Isaiah 14 and 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of the evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the inequity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the lands nor fill the face of the worlds with cities. And this is what they did, man. This is what, this is what Esau and Edom did, man. All over the place, man. Gonna bring you down, Esau. Esau, you coming down, Esau. Esau, Edom, you coming down. A, a scripture just came in my head. I think this, let's see if this is it. Exodus 20 and 4. Exodus 20 and 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. And we did. They made us serve them. For I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the inequity of the fathers upon the children until the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and do what? And keep my commandments. So yeah, so no, this, this is, they didn't keep the Most High's commandments. They didn't keep the Most High's commandments. Let's get this one. Obadiah 1. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. See? Who are we talking about? Shall eight go back up to eight? Shall I not in that day say the Lord even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? The Mount of Esau is the government of Esau. The government of Esau, the top house in the Edomites fact um family tree, is 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 um Amalek. It is is the small hats. I did a lesson where they was in there, in their five, five small hats around President Bush when he signed some bullshit in the law. I forget whatever the law was, some crazy shit. You know, they got plenty of crazy shit they done signed in the law. Let's keep getting it. 23 and 24. Jeremiah, 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill the heaven and earth, saith the Lord? Yeah, man. <laughs> the Most High see everything, man. The Most High see everything. And what the Most High say about Esau, Edom? Let's get it over here. Let's get it over here. Romans 9, 13. Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. See? Most high hate Esau. So he's going to get Esau. We're going to close it out with this one, Micah 2, 2 and 1. Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise inequity and work evils upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Yeah, see? And they covet it fields, take them by violence and houses, and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family do I devise an evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for the time is evil. Yeah, man. So you're going to get it, man. Judah, Benjamin, your people, your tribe, y'all going to get it, man. Y'all are going to get it, man. 
Cause y'all responsible for a lot of shit, man. Y'all responsible for a lot of shit, man. And proud too. Look at the smile on this proud Edomite devil face, man. Judah Benjamin. <laughs> I seen that. I said, man, these mongers. Judah Benjamin. So with that one, man, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, greetings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children. Remain spiritual out there. Qualm Yasharam. Qualm Yasharam. Qualm Yasharam. And the Baba Baba, Rock of Thumb family, Shalom. Esau, you gonna pay for this, man.